Good morning everyone. Today we're working on a Hyperspatcher uh, D2. So it's smoking, not starting, blowing cold air. So this is the tools we need. Slaughter, slaughtered socket. Then we use this screwdriver and a pick. That's all we need. So take this, twist it off, take it off. Then there's two clips here, here. Pull them off both, both time, at the same time. Okay. Then uh, there's this screw. I already loosened it. Take it off. Then there's these two clips. Have to push it in and then pull this up. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Got it. Then there's this wire. Let's see if I can. Okay. Brown and black. We gotta unplug that one. You just wiggle it down. And there you go. You got it. And then uh, you can kind of carefully not break these wires on the plug, blow plug. Tilt it. Tilt this circuit board. So tilt it, and then there's a plug, white and brown, yellow plug. Might be a different color. Just wiggle it out. Wiggle it out. Come on. Okay. Got it. And then you can leave this alone. So there you go. The glow plugs unplugged carefully. Take this, don't break the wires off because they're fragile. This I usually work with my right hand, but making this video for you guys. So this slotted socket goes over the wire with the slot over the wires. Okay. Then you take your screwdriver and stick it in the hole. There you go. It's loose so loosen it up take it out so the plug still good it works we're just gonna clean the the air supply ignition air hole because it gets plugged and then uh, you won't be able to start the, the heater. You see this pig goes inside the hole. There you go. If you look closely, the pig is gonna stick out from the other side. out from the other side this is the air supply for the ignition and if this hole is plugged the heater will smoke and will not ignite and then uh, there's a mesh thing inside but I, I just uh, I don't have it right now so I just spray it with a brake cleaner real quick and then uh, clean it up a little bit I don't want to pull it out so I don't mess it up and uh, I think I can screwdriver a little bit but not too rough not to mess up the mesh and uh, I can use my I can use my air Okay, so the hole is already good. The hole is, see this, 
pig goes through this is the air supply for the ignition so make sure that's clean and there you go I'm gonna put it back together I'm gonna put this plug in uh, ignition plug or put it back together and it should work now because uh, it should have air and uh, it has fuel because it was all wet when I took it apart so I'll go ahead put it together and I'll, I'll show you the results connect to the wire here connect to the wire there and uh, put this back in there clip the clips are locked in and then put the screw in there tighten it now put this cover back on make sure you slide this in and then push it down so this clips will snap there you go and then let's put this on and twist it Go. It's good. So let's see the results. So let's push start. A few minutes later. Okay, the heater is going full speed. It's blowing hot, blowing hot air. I'm really happy this worked. I didn't have the mesh, but it's ideally you have to change the mesh so it would be clear. So it's still blowing full speed, but temperature is climbing. So my temp is set to what, 64. Let's go outside and see if it's smoking. So no more smoke, just barely because of the fuel it was leaking down the exhaust, but it's almost not smoking at all. Good. Success.